Hi there, my name is Henry from CQ Servers, and today I'll be showing you how to install Geyser onto your Minecraft server. So the first thing you need to check, log into your game panel, and go to your network tab, and check that you have at least two ports assigned to your Minecraft server. One of these ports will be your primary port, which will be the one that Java users connect to, it's your default connection. Your sec and the second port will be your Geyser port, because Bedrock clients need to connect on a different port to your standard one. Brilliant. So you remember these two ports. So for this example, the primary port will be 25600 and the geyser port will be 25623. Brilliant. So you're going to hop onto your console. You're going to make sure your server is stopped. If it's not, just wag that little stop button right there. And you're going to go to your file manager. You're going to go into plugins. And then from here, you need to go to the geyser download link that will be in the description below. You're going to download geyserspigot.jar. You're going to just download that one. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Brilliant. So back here, you're going to get that geyserspigot.jar, and you're just going to drag and drop right here. It'll upload it. Super easy. Cool. And you're going to go back over here. You're going to hit start. So the reason we're starting it here is just to generate your geyser config file so you can set the ports that you want to use. Let me just wait one second for this. There we can see it's enabling geyser. Don't worry about this. <laughs> Brilliant, so now your server's running with geyser. So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna go to config.yml and then you can leave this address as 0000, because that will just look on your IP address. But the port, for our example, you're going to use 25623. Brilliant. So that means that any Bedrock clients need to connect on this port. So it's your normal IP address, colon, this port. And then for this port down here, which is your Java edition, you just need to change that to, to your default server port which for this example is 25600. You're going to hit save. You're going to go back to your console and you're going to do geyser reload. Brilliant. So now your geyser will be running on, as we can see there, 25623. Now, if you'll install geyser, you probably also want to install floodgate, which is something that allows people to join even if they don't have a Java account, just if they have a bedrock Minecraft account. And so to do that, you're just going to go to this link, which we're going to put in the description below. You're going to download floodgatebucket.jar. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. Then you're going to go back into your file manager, go back into your plugins. You're going to grab that, and you're just going to drag and drop that in. Back to your console. You're going to do a stop. And another st start. And then now that's all done. As you can see, the floodgates generated its config file. You don't really need to touch anything in there because it all links nicely into Geyser. And that's all That's all installed. So now people will be able to connect on your IP. So for this example, it would be this IP and then 25623. 